The shipping industry has had many issues the last few years with a financial crash and then followed by the oil crash you know, recently. How has that actually affected the maritime industry? It's bringing in a lot more regulation, it's bringing in a lot more uncertainty. The volatility which you can now see in the market is really a big problem. How can you actually mitigate those risks with overcapacity knocked on and shipping capacity you know, shipyard capacity is having a really big effect now. If you look at the dry bulk, they're right at the bottom of the cycle. Everybody's wondering where it's going up. On the, the oil price crash, we're actually seeing when's it actually going to go down again or how long is it going to be there? So how do we answer all these questions? What, how do we take this to going forward? To answer all the questions which I've stated previously, is actually understanding all the different drivers which actually affect that, not just in shipping and not just supply demand of the cargo in hand. It's actually really understanding the nuances for that particular trade route. So is it oil futures which has a massive effect on you know, the Middle East to Japan, or is it bond yields which affects Northwest Europe to the US you know, East Coast? It's then translating that turning big data, as everybody keeps on talking about it, but actually into insights and giving that opinion and analysis onto which other people can make informed decisions. The strategic windows and decision-making process is getting smaller and smaller with the paper market, and we're also having to justify through risk mitigation. But if you can add an opinion to that, it allows other decision-makers to make in an informed decision going forward. With all the regulation now coming into the industry, we need to think very differently on a strategic level. Who do we actually turn to within the industry? Who has got that better insight than our, you know, the competitors? Who has got the data set? Who has got the history and, you know, and who's got that respect within the industry to become that second opinion? Who can be that independent advisor to aid our decisions and guide. It's not saying this is what we can d deliver. It's not a product, it's actually an industry. We're all in it together. Everybody has a different agenda. Everybody will buy ships at a certain point when their ships need to be replaced. It might be at the bottom of the market or it might be at the top of the market, but we all have to deal with that. And it's having the tools in place and forethought to look at it from a three to five year from a strategic point of view, but also what is in happening in those two to three months from a commercial point of view, which is giving the charterers and the ship owners and the ship finance those headaches of you know, with those you know, small window to make those decisions.